So how are you? I'm Nick Vidal and I am a functional health coach and I wanted to share with you today the number one test that you can get in regard to your health, especially your gut health. No matter what issues you're going through, we always have to start with the gut first before looking at any other systems. So when we look at the gut and we balance out your microbiome, your microbiome is basically the entire internal environment that's inside your body. So when we balance that out, everything else in your body balances out. You're able to digest food better, you absorb food better, um, food sensitivities and allergies go away, your hormones function better, you have more energy and focus because now your brain is working with the correct nutrients. And the key here is there's no one size fits all dietary approach. And that's what we're always told when it comes to the gut, that there's this one size fits all approach that um, whether you should be eating paleo, whether you should be eating AIP or all these different types of diets, if you should be going keto, if you should not be going keto, if you should be using different herbs and things to cleanse out pathogens, if you should be using this program, that program, all that stuff has a place and it's very great. But I wanted to share with you today a whole different take on the situation. And uh, as a functional health coach, I've been using this company with a couple of my clients. They've gotten some great results. And I also have done this test myself. And I've noticed such a tremendous improvement in my energy, my focus, the way my skin is, um, how my metabolism is. And I found out some unique things about my body. Even though I went through my own healing crisis years ago, I was a, I had parasites, I had candida overgrowth, I had a lot of things going on in my system. I had a rash all over my body. I had severe food sensitivities and I used some different approaches in order to heal that. So I know that there's probably still some underlying damage there and that's why I ended up getting this test for myself because I wanted to see, but I wanted to share with you exactly what you get when you use this type of test. And I wanted to show you behind the scenes of the recommendations, the testing, and sort of take you through the process and talk to you while we're looking at everything. So right now, if you see on the screen here, um, I'm actually logged into my dashboard. So I got this test and basically this is a direct to your house. You don't need to go to a functional doctor. You don't need to go to any uh, middleman that's in between. Uh, and what happens is sometimes you go to those types of practitioners and you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on all these tests and most of them are unnecessary. Uh, my approach is I always like to start at the gut first and then from there we branch out if possibly in the future we see that after you do everything to balance your microbiome out, okay, do you still have some hormone issues? Do you still have some adrenal issues? Are you still having some detoxification issues? Then those things can be addressed and then that would be the ideal time to get some extra testing to really know if, if there's a situation or a healing crisis that you're having and you're sort of at a brick wall or a plateau after you do everything to balance out your microbiome, then you may need some extra tests. But with a test like this, you're gonna save so much money, so much time, so much headache and that way you're not going to play a guessing game. You're going to know exactly what to do, what to eat, what to supplement with in order to balance your unique microbiome. So you have to remember our microbiome is more unique than our fingerprint. That is super, super important information because your microbiome is completely different than mine. So let's say, for instance, broccoli may be very good for me but maybe you're lacking certain bacteria to break down the nutrients and chemicals that are found in that broccoli. So therefore, when you eat broccoli, it's actually poisonous inside your system, and it's actually more of a toxin than a beneficial food. And the only way to know this is to analyze all of the bacteria inside the gut. And I'm gonna show you a little behind the scenes here of what we're talking about. So basically, once you get this test, you order this test that comes straight to your house, straight to your doorstep. You take a quick stool sample. It's like a pea size. They show you the directions exactly how to do it. Um, they give you gloves, the whole thing. It's not messy at all. And you put this thing um, back into the tube and you mail it off to Viome. And then about four to six weeks later, you get these custom recommendations. Um, and then that, is going to show you exactly what is happening on inside your unique body. So it's sort of like an all in one test. And we're going to get through that as we go through this video together. So here's the dashboard. And now at Viome, when you get Viome, they ask you to um, fill out some different questionnaires. 
so we're really not going to go through these or, or open any of these but basically personal questionnaires about your current lifestyle do you exercise what types of foods do you eat stuff like that i um, mapping out different symptoms uh, mapping out your willingness to make the, the necessary changes especially if you have major health complications it's very important to um, understand the commitment and, and the willingness that's going to have to be involved in order to take these types of recommendations and actually apply them into your life and that's part of what I do with clients as well is as a health coach um, I like to use a company like this because I'm not a scientist so I like to use a company like this that does pay for research, that does pay for the science. Let them do all the um, scientific work about what bacteria does what, what foods are best, what's happening inside the gut. And let's just take that information and where coaching comes in is that's how we actually apply it. How do we take these recommendations and how do we actually get you to use these recommendations, implement them? How do we track your symptoms? How do we track your progress to get you on the right track so you're feeling so much better so that way you can heal? Um, so you have your different questionnaires. And then this is a really cool thing they have, which I haven't seen with some other companies, is to be able to actually track where your package is. So once um, your package was sent to you, your testing kit, once it was scanned, once it was received, then you'll know exactly what date it hit the lab. And then you will know um, a couple of weeks later what your results are. They will get mailed to you um, via email. Um, so with this, you actually have um, a private personalized app that constantly updates itself. It constantly improves based on the information that Viome receives about you. Um, over time, you're, you may get some different recommendations uh, in regard to supplements or in regard to food. But I wanted to show you exactly what you get with this type of service. Um, so let's get into the results here. And I'm going to go over my own results. This is my own test. And I'm going to be full, fully transparent with you and show you everything that's happening inside my body. So my results came back and my microbiome is actually very well balanced which is a very good thing i've done a lot of work to heal my gut to heal my health issues uh, so that's a good sign a lot of the things that i've done have worked um so i have beneficial microbial activity i have however relatively high unhealthy microbial activity which is understandable because i had parasite infections i had candida i had a lot of issues that were going on um I have uh, average variety of these different uh, microbial activities and my microbial butyrate pathway is actually, um, my butyrate production is pretty high. This can come through a couple of different things. I told you I'm not a scientist, but based on what I understand about this, basically butyrate is secreted by the bacteria when the bacteria are well fed. So high butyrate production is a sign that you're getting a lot of fiber in your diet, especially fibers that are feeding bacteria, whether good or bad, inside your body. Um, butyrate is also sort of like an anti-inflammatory. So when butyrate production is very high, that means your microbial activity is very high, but it also means that butyrate is getting secreted and butyrate helps seals the lining of your gut it helps to keep the toxin load down inside the gut, so it has some beneficial properties. I also personally use a, a bulletproof coffee type of approach, so I use grass-fed butter, I use ghee, um, I use MCT oil, I use these different things that also affect butyrate production. And we're gonna actually get into the custom food recommendations right after this. Um, so if we come down here, they then show you your wellness breakdown. So I was actually surprised by this, but my metabolic fitness is actually not as good as I thought it was. And there's a couple of different reasons for that. But basically what this is showing is my body does not process carbohydrates too well. I have some blood sugar issues going on. And so therefore that's something that still needs to get fixed. I still have to now focus on that. And so I was eating a little too much carbs because I'm a weightlifter. I work out pretty intensely. I do calisthenics. I, I'm a very active. And so um, definitely coming from a personal training background and a fitness nutrition background, I figured that as I would have more carbohydrates around my activity, I would just be okay. But it actually shows that my body is not handling certain foods so well. And we're going to get into the food recommendations that I received off of this. Um, so this is very important information. And this is something that you will not find in a program. This is something you can only find through a test like this. And my results have nothing to do with your body. 
you're going to need to get a test like this to understand exactly what's going on inside of your body. And then over time, you're, they literally get, put you on a sliding scale. So when I go to get my retest again in six months, I'm going to see, did the recommendations actually improve my specific metabolic fitness? My inflammatory activity is actually a little on the higher side. Um, so we do want low inflammation um, because when there's high inflammation, that means there's still risks of chronic disease and illness and some different things going on, metabolism's infected. Um, but why that number is probably slightly higher for me is because um, I do work out very intensely. I do very heavy weightlifting, very intense calisthenics, um, so athletic level um, lifting. And so that wears down quite a bit on the muscles, the joints, everything. So uh, any anybody that's um, very highly active or an athlete or that trains very hard or trains very consistently, um, your inflammation markers are always going to be slightly on the higher side, which is good as long as you know how to recover. And that comes down to eating the right food and using the right supplements. So um, this is sort of what Viome comes up with here. And Viome basically, now I'm not a scientist, so we're not going to get into what each of these things do because I personally have no idea. But they basically list every single strain of bacteria inside of your gut, like every single strain that is found by the number, by the specific strain. No other test does this. This is the only testing company that can go this deep. And as you can see, they compare you to everyone else. And then they compare you to a healthy cohort of people and they show you exactly where you stack up. You could also break it down by species, by genus, by phylum. So some other tests like you biome and things like that, they only go sometimes down to the species or genus level. Uh, Viome takes it one step higher and they actually break it down by strain. Um, the unique thing about this is there's some bacteria that I'm not familiar with. I found out that there's some viruses, there's some different bacteria, but I didn't see the typical Candida, I didn't see the typical H. pylori, I didn't see the, the typical things that we normally hear about. Because our microbiomes are so different, there's hundreds of billions of different bacteria, hundreds of trillions of bacteria, so many different species and types and, and different organisms that it doesn't, there's not only five bad things that can cause a problem. There's actually so many different viruses and bacteria. We're exposed to it every single day in the air we breathe, in the toxins, in uh, pesticides and stuff, in food, molds, um, the soil. There's bacteria everywhere. So they really break it down. And then what they do is they also show you um, if you've been taking probiotics and things. This is actually the only probiotic that showed up in my sample. Um, which is pretty interesting because I've taken a lot of different probiotic supplements and this shows that maybe some of them were probably not effective and I was wasting a lot of money. So this is why uh, taking a test like this can be so valuable because you're going to learn exactly what to focus on so that way you're not wasting money. Um, once we go to diversity here, this is pretty cool. Um, so this is the diversity of where I stack up compared to everyone. Um, so the richness and the diversity of the microbes in my gut are pretty, pretty good. I have good richness, good diversity. That's a very good sign because that is a sign that you're a more healthier individual when you have a lot of variety. The more variety you have, you're going to balance out your microbiome. So there are bad bacteria. There are things like candida. There are things like parasites and C. diff infections and limes and all these different things. They are there. But everybody has a mix of good and bad. So it's a matter of if you have enough variety. It's a matter of if you have enough richness. Um, because the more variety and richness you have, if you still have more good than bad, you're going to be okay. You're going to be good to go. So this is how they compare to everybody. And then they also have this. Um, so they do take a separate um, healthy cohort. These are people that eat very healthy. There's no chronic disease or illnesses. They have no severe symptoms. Um, these are people that are exercising. They're eating very healthy. They, they live a active lifestyle. They try to keep their stress down. Um, what we would consider a healthy individual. So this is where I stack up against those people. Um, this is me, the red dot here. And this is the rest of the healthy cohort. So my diversity is pretty decent. My richness is pretty decent. 
Um, so those were all good signs to see. Another um, sample, uh, another thing you learn here is RNA. Um, and so apparently RNA is a byproduct, like when there's high levels of RNA, that means there's a lot of turnover inside the body. That usually is a sign that there's chronic illness, there's some different things going on, you're probably having some complicated health issues, and when you have very high RNA, that means there's a lot of turnover. So basically, small amounts of um, human RNA are detected in healthy individuals, but when there's inflammation, when there's an infection, the cells that are actually lining the gut are shed in much higher amounts. And so there, that's what I mean by there's a lot of turnover, there's a lot of activity in there. So if you have higher RNA, that's definitely a sign that there's definitely inflammation going on inside your particular gut. Um, so out of a hundred percentile, remember, you the lower the number, the better off you are, the healthier your gut is. Um, so I scored out of um, the healthy cohort of people, 14 percentile out of 100, which is pretty decent, not absolutely the lowest, but low enough to be considered um, very healthy. Um, as it's stacked up against everyone else, 8th percentile, um, pretty low. That's pr a pretty good thing to see. Um, so basically, we're showing you a lot of the science here of, of exactly what's going on science-wise. So that way you know what types of bacteria, you know what the RNA is, you know what your diversity looks like. And this is what some typical test companies will do, um, especially things like Ubiome and these other tests that you may have heard of. Um, but what separates Viome from everybody else is this right here, recommendations. So not only do they take the science but they actually now provide you custom recommendations based off your unique bacteria. So what they do is they analyze all the bacteria, the viruses, the fungus, everything you have inside your gut. And they have such a sophisticated system, they know what each of these particular bacteria do. So some of them secrete toxins, some of them break down certain foods, some of them um, produce vitamins, um, some of them absorb minerals, so all these different bacteria are doing a different task. Viome knows all of this, and so therefore they come up with custom recommendations of how you would balance out your microbiome specifically for you. There is no one diet that fits all. There is no one set protocol that fits all. And these approaches usually fail people, especially if you have some serious health issues going on. Those approaches will not work for you. And you probably know because if you're watching a video like this, you've probably tried some of those approaches and they have failed you. This is something that will not fail you. This is going to get you one of the best results you've ever seen by balancing out your microbiome. So let's take a look at the recommendations. Basically, when you get your recommendations, they break your um, recommendations down into two parts. One is food, one is supplements. Um, so in regard to foods, they categorize your foods. Which ones are your superfoods? These are foods that you want to focus as much of your energy on as possible. These are foods that are really going to help you. Um, indulge foods, these are foods that you want most of your diet to be. Like get a lot of these indulge foods in, you don't have to worry. Then it breaks it down to enjoy. These are foods that are okay for you, but you don't want to overdo it with them. And then, of course, minimize. Those are foods you want to try to stay away from as often as possible because those are actually going to have a more toxic effect in your particular body based on your unique microbiome. Uh, Viome has also broken it down by serving size, um, and we're going to get into that um, exactly how that is. Uh, so you actually get a private app, so I don't know if you can see on the screen, it's not on the um, website here, but there's a private app and it literally breaks down your serving size of each type of food, so you know exactly what to focus on. Keep in mind, this is not a food sensitivity test. So if you do have underlying food sensitivities or severe allergies that you're aware of, then you're going to want to keep in mind that some of the recommendations may fall in to something that you know you're allergic to. So let's say if every time you have a milk product or a dairy product, you either break out into a rash, you get severe bloating and gas and cramping, um, you get severe fatigue and brain fog, that we would probably say that you're very sensitive to that food. So we would try to remove that food, but what Viome is showing is 
they don't want to eliminate these foods because we want a proper balance and variety of food inside the body. And so therefore, their approach is to feed your microbiome in order to balance it correctly. And then once your microbiome is balanced, a lot of your food sensitivities are going to disappear. A lot of the things that are maybe causing histamine issues and other things in the body, they will disappear because now you're going to have a different level of microbes that are going to be able to handle what's going on inside the gut. So that's just sort of a little disclaimer there. And more often than not, food sensitivity tests really don't work. When there's leaky gut going on, when there's a lot of inflammation inside, there's a lot of false flags that are thrown up. There's a lot of mixed signals that are going on. And usually what happens is someone gets a food sensitivity test and it comes back that they're only able to eat five foods. And what do they do? They avoid all the foods they're sensitive to, supposedly. They focus on these five foods and they get worse. They start to feel worse. Their symptoms get worse. And the reason is because they've limited their variety of nutrients and their um, phytonutrients and vitamins and minerals to down to these five foods, and now they're entering into a worse state. So I personally do not ever use food sensitivity tests with clients because I think they're unnecessary. We want to go based off your gut intuition, and we want to use a test like this that points us in the right direction of exactly where we should be putting our focus. Um, and also keep in mind, um, this is based on eating around three meals a day. I personally fast for one of those meals, but I work it in with my recommendations. So based on what your recommendations are, fasting may be good for you. Certain things that you use may be good for you and others may not be, but we're going to find that out in one second. And of course, um, you want to pay attention to your hunger levels. So of course, if you're not hungry, um, you don't have to eat at that particular time. That's going to cause a backup in your system. So you want to sort of pay attention to your body as well. And of course, we all know that stretching and strength training and interval training and aerobic exercise are going to help your microbiome. They're going to help your metabolism. They're overall going to help your long-term health. Not only that, but exercise also dramatically helps you handle stress. It helps reduce stress. It helps you get better sleep. It helps your metabolism and organs function better. Um, so, so many benefits there. And so, no, Viome is not going to give you recommendations for that. But that's where working with a health coach, um, especially um, someone like myself that is well-versed. I was a personal trainer before I became a functional health coach. Um, that's well-versed in exercise and movement. So that way you avoid injury. And that way you're able to apply this to your actual lifestyle and your actual schedule. Um, so then we come up here, and now let's get into the actual, this, this is the, uh, the meat and potatoes, so to speak. Um, the supplement recommendations. So based on my particular results, I was recommended to take Vital 10 Probiotics by Claire Labs, which I'll be taking. Um, and they recommended those specific strains in order to balance out some of the bad bacteria that are in my gut. And also Re, uh, Versatrol um, Supreme. And that's polyphenols by Designs for Health. So they tell you exactly what brand. They tell you exactly what the dosage is that they recommend per day. And so these were the only two supplements that were recommended for me. Sometimes I have clients and they get some other recommendations. They get different types of probiotic formulas. Some of them get some more extensive things in regards to maybe some mineral supplements, some different vitamin supplements. It's all really dependent on what, what your bacteria actually need in order to thrive. Um, so with me, I've supplemented quite a bit. I've watched my diet quite a bit. I've done a lot of healing modalities and different things. Um, so I'm sort of okay in the supplement area. Um, now let's actually get to foods. Um, so they have your foods list here, and basically everything is broken down for you exactly like so. So first of all, you know exactly what food it is. You know what category it lands in. You know what the serving size is for that category. And you know whether this food is a superfood. Like remember we said before, you want to focus on the superfoods. Uh, for me, my superfoods happen to be uh, the top five. Arugula garlic, kale, uh, salmon, wild caught salmon, and watercress. This is specifically for my body. I've had clients that some of their superfoods have showed up as coconut oil. I've had clients that superfood has showed up as sauerkraut. Um, some of them show up with cabbage. Uh, it all really depends on your unique microbiome. 
Um, and the cool thing is I use a lot of garlic already. I eat a lot of salmon already. So those two things already fall into there. Watercress is a little harder to get in the store, especially clean watercress. But arugula I definitely eat. Uh, and kale, that's, that, that's a funky one, right? Because sometimes some people don't do very well with kale. So if there's hormone issues going on, kale is considered, uh, kale has goitrogens in it. Goitrogens are going to affect your thyroid. So kale as a cruciferous vegetable is not really ideal for someone that has severe thyroid issues. But once again, this is going based on the microbiome and how those bacteria, the foods that those bacteria need in order for the good ones to grow and the bad ones to lower and balance out so that way you achieve optimal health. Um, so those are the superfoods. And then now you get down into the indulge list. So this is unconventional, right? Because so many times we see, oh, well, in regard to gut health, you have to eliminate this, 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 and focus on this. And I've done it with clients myself. And so if there's severe gut issues going on and you don't want to invest in a test or a service like this, which I don't know why you would not, especially if you're having some health issues that you can't seem to sort out. Um, but for those people, yeah, if there's severe leaky gut going on and we, there's some things that we know going on, of course, eliminating gluten, eliminating sugar, for most people, eliminating dairy is a good place to start. But then there's other things that crop up, usually nuts and seeds, usually grains. So we know that those foods can be uh, very inflammatory, especially when there's gut issues. So that's sort of a good generalization when it comes to going about how to get started healing your gut. But to really optimize this and to really speed up and fast track your results, you want to know exactly what foods you should be focusing on. And this test is going to show you all of that. So for me, avocados, great food. I eat a lot of them as is. Bananas, for my particular microbiome, very good food. I love bananas. Black beans, bone broth, brown rice, capers, carrots. Um, chicken, cilantro, dill, eggs. Um, so I used to have a severe problem with eggs, but as my microbiome has balanced out, I now handle eggs actually pretty decently. I didn't until um, like a couple of months ago, I wasn't handling um, them so well. But as I've been trying to really work on my gut, really work on my microbiome, I'm handling them a lot better. And now I actually come to find that my microbiome actually will thrive when I start to include eggs. Um, hazelnuts, right? Um, those happen to be very good. And they tell you exactly how many. 15 nuts. That's considered one serving of hazelnuts. Green tea. For my unique body, green tea seems to be okay. Lamb. Oatmeal. So sometimes we're told oatmeal is not good or oats are not good. And for most people, they may not be. For my particular microbiome, they are. But here's where things start to change up. We now start to get into the enjoy list. And the enjoy list is, um, these are foods that you can still include, and these are foods that you can still enjoy, but you don't want to go overboard with them. Um, so these are sort of like the neutral type foods, almond milk, right? Okay, allspice, alfalfa sprouts, apples, anchovies, apricots. Um, so look, in regard to apricots, one serving is actually three whole uh, apricots because apricots are small. So how cool is this to know exactly what the serving size is for your microbiome? Asparagus, 15 spears of asparagus is considered the serving. Um, avocado oil, bamboo shoot, bay leaf, basil. So they tell you exactly what herbs, what spices, what seasonings. Black pepper is okay. Some people are sensitive to black pepper. So you really want to know. Black tea is okay. Bone broth, whether from fish or poultry. Brazil nuts. Um, bulgur, burdock root. For me, butter is okay. So also keep in mind that they're saying butter here, but we know to really get the best quality, we want grass-fed butter and eat preferably organic, something like Anchor or Kerrygold or very uh, high quality ghee. Those are all great options, but it shows that in my microbiome, butter is actually okay. And I actually thrive on Bulletproof Coffee, which is grass-fed butter or ghee with uh, MCT oil and black coffee. And on my list as well here, um, black coffee is here somewhere. Um, also MCT oil, coconut oil have both showed up. 
So there we go, coconut, actually MCT oil, one and a half tablespoons is the serving. It's actually very good for my microbiome. Um, so we need to find exactly what works best in order for you to optimize what you're doing, in order for you to optimize your health. For you, coffee may not be good. For my microbiome, coffee, organic coffee is actually a very good thing for me. Coconut water is a very good thing for me. But here's where we're going to get a little different. So you see, they literally list every single spice, fruit, vegetable, herb, nut, seed, meat, like you name it, it is here. What types of cheese? So goat milk, I'm okay with. But there's some other things I'm not okay with. And we're going to get to that. Heavy cream. Okay, right? We would normally think no good. Honey, that seems to be okay for me. Jackfruit. Kefir. Okay in my microbiome. Lemon. Lettuce. Lobster. Right? This uh, sorts out quite a bit of stuff. Onions. Pineapple. All these different fruits and stuff like that. And so let's really try to get down. And now you see how it changes and now it says minimize. Almonds, not that great for me. I should stay away from almonds. Amaranth, not that great for me. Sometimes we're told, hey, if you're uh, gluten sensitive, it's okay to have quinoa, amaranth, and teft. Not for everybody. Um, for me, amaranth is no good. Let's just scroll down here. Um, beets for me are no good. Barley for me is no good. Beet greens, no good. Bell pepper for me is no good. Buckwheat, no good. So buckwheat's another one of those examples of gluten-free. Not particularly for me. Cane sugar, no good for me. Celery seed, no good. Chard, no good. Collard greens, no good. We would think of those vegetables as very healthy, but in my unique system, no good. Corn products like tortillas, and even if it's non-GMO, not good for me. Couscous, currants, medjool dates. I was eating a ton of medjool dates. It's probably why I was bumping into some blood sugar issues. So dried fruits for me are really not recommended. Um, so I should be staying away from that. Goji berries, I should be staying away from. Green beans, I should be staying away from. Kiwis, lentils. So however, it shows that black beans are excellent for me, but lentils, however, are not. Maple syrup, not so great. Millet, not so great. So you see what I'm uh, what we're talking about here? Olives, not so great for me. Peanuts, I was eating a lot of peanut butter. It's showing that peanuts are not that great for me. Pecans, pistachios, pork, these are all things I should be staying away from. Um, potatoes, prunes, quinoa. We all think quinoa is very healthy. For my particular body, quinoa is not that healthy. So you see what we're talking about here? Rice milk, not that great. Rye, so a lot of uh, glutinous grains have showed up inside my results. Sea salt and Himalayan salt, I should keep that to a very minimal. Um, stevia, we hear stevia is great in my particular microbiome. No, it's not. And now this is, this is what we want to take here. And basically what we're looking at, we don't want to completely eliminate these things forever. We don't have to because that's not going to be something that you have to give these foods up forever. What it's saying here is to minimize them. So yeah, I could probably still get away with stevia, but I shouldn't be doing it every day. I should maybe be doing it one time a week if I want a stevia sweetened coffee, right? Something like that. Um, so we want to play with different things. White rice, probably not so great for me, but that doesn't mean I'll never ever eat white rice again. It just means I have to be very attentive and, and, focused on what I am doing and I know that okay if I do have white rice I shouldn't really be having it more than like one time a week brown sugar canola oil so now I, you see how it changes from minimize to now avoid agave nectar horrible as, aspartame baked beans refried bean beet sugar brown sugar canola oil canned vegetables corn syrup oh, this is no this is no surprise right we know this stuff is horrible fried food like french fries dextrose fruit juices, granola bars. These are foods I should absolutely never, ever, ever put into my body. Iodized salt, lard, maltose, margarine, oatmeal that's flavored, processed cheeses, processed meats, raisins. Um, raisins are dried fruit, very high uh, prone to mold. Also, a lot of them are sprayed with sulfites and things. Also, keep in mind, grapes are super, super high in sugar. You have like a tablespoon of raisins 
and your blood sugar can be through the roof. So this is no surprise. Sugar, white flour, flavored yogurt. No surprise here at all, right? So now with this, this is just online. And also keep in mind, you can um, type different foods here. You can um, filter out your different foods. Um, and let's say you're a vegetarian, right? You can click here and turn the vegetarian box on. And it will now give you only the vegetarian options. So some people are vegetarian or vegan. This will give you those options and it will show you exactly what fruits are best for you, what beans are best for you, what grains are best for you. Um, and it's automatically going to take out. The, so like azuki beans and black beans are great for me, but some other things may not be. Um, so you can do that. Um, if you are a vegetarian, because that's usually hard when we're a vegetarian and we look at gut health, um, there's a lot of conflicting advice that we should be eating meat, we should be eating fish, not for every particular person. And if you're someone because of ethics and morals, you don't want to eat that, uh, those animal foods, that's fine. I understand that. I was a vegan myself for like four years. Um, so I understand that wholeheartedly. If you feel that's the thing for you, then you just click that button and it will automatically remove the fish, the meat, all that stuff, and you can just focus on your vegetables. Um, so we'll turn that back on here. Um, so just very quickly here, foods to avoid. So there's the whole list. They've pretty much found this across the board with most people. Um, so Viome basically constantly updates their um, data. So every person that gets a test sort of adds to the collective intelligence of Viome. And so this is what, these are the top foods they found that pretty much almost everyone should be completely avoiding because these foods are not shown to promote health. Um, so let's also keep in mind that they give you some fruit, food preparation tips. So yeah, even though they say grains, for me they said wild rice is great, but keen was not. Even so, we want to properly soak and sprout the grains. So when you're cooking grains, Viome tells you exactly, place grains in a bowl, cover with filtered water. For every cup of liquid, you want to add some lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. Uh, you want to let that soak for 12 to 24 hours. Then you want to rinse it, and then you want to drain it and cook it, cook it normally. Um, so that's the thing too. So we don't just, if it says brown rice is okay, don't just go grab brown rice, throw it in and everything's going to be all right. You still want to soak it. You still want to sprout it for that. That way you optimize the nutrients. That way you optimize the digestion and absorption. And a lot of those grains and nuts and seeds and things, they have phytic acid, they have lectins, they have different things that are going to damage the gut. They have different things that those um, phytates and lectins, they're actually gonna bind to minerals. So you can have some great food, and if you're having too many phytates and lectins, it'll actually bind to the very minerals in that food, and you won't even be able to absorb any. Um, how to soak flour. So if you're gonna use flour, wh whatever they recommended as flour for you, you can then um, soak it and sprout the flour. How to do it with legumes, how to do it with nuts and seeds. Different cooking tips. Um, so when cooking, coconut oil, ghee, grapefruit seed oil, ba uh, grape seed oil, based on exactly what your recommendations were. If coconut oil is something you should be avoiding, then obviously X out the coconut oil and go with the butter or the ghee or whatever was recommended for you. Um, and remember, shopping for your food, you got to pay attention to the additives and the things that are on the labels. Things that could be sneaking in there, MSG, uh, high fructose corn syrup trans fat so you may buy a frozen dinner that may be chicken and vegetables but if you look at the back it says hydrolyzed vegetable protein that means msg is in there trans fats artificial sweeteners um wine beer dried fruit pepperoni salami these are loaded with sulfates nitrates carrageenan that's in a lot of almond milk and coconut milk and different things um so these are very inflammatory these are very toxic in the body Sodium benzoate, yeast extract, titanium dioxide, soy lecithin, usually found in almost all chocolate bars. These are things that are not really going to promote health. So there you have it. That's the recommendations. Um, if you want, you can click this button here, generate PDF. I already did, so it got sent to my email. But basically, they lay everything out for you on one solid PDF. So that way you see it all in one place. Um, you'll know exactly what foods to focus on. 
And then when you get this, uh, keep in mind you get your private app. So the app works slightly different and they actually just updated it so that way it makes it easier for you. So for instance, in my particular metabolism, with the, depending on the way I answer the question, what's in my microbiome, each day I should be having 10 servings of vegetables. I should be having three servings of my superfoods. So my superfoods were um, watercress, arugula, garlic. I should be really having three servings of those. Enjoy, I should be having five servings. So enjoy were things like um, broccoli, cabbage, onions, different things like that. I should be having five servings. And once again, you go back in, it tells you exactly what a serving size is. So in the instance of asparagus, a serving size is actually 15 spears. So you can see how each of us are gonna need a different amount of food. Um, proteins and fats, I should only be having six servings altogether. One serving of a superfood, um, one serving of one I should minimize, and the rest should be four servings of enjoy foods. Um, fruits and grains. I was showed that I only need to have five servings of fruit and grains. That means I'm allowed to have maybe one or two bananas. I'm allowed to have um, maybe a half a cup of oats and maybe an apple, and that's pretty much my carbohydrate intake for the day based on my bacteria, based on my microbiome, based on what's happening uh, inside with my metabolism, my blood sugar issues. Um, so this is what I'm gonna be paying attention to. So this is what I mean, this uh, company is very important, this service is very important, but if you have the willing willingness and commitment to take this and apply it on your own, go right ahead. However, if you're someone that needs help with this and you need support and, and you can use the help of a coach to support you each week to help you take these types of recommendations, basically let the science be done by a test like this and then let's actually use it so that way we're not guessing. We're not going based off symptoms. We're basically actually getting to the root of the problem and we're understanding exactly what foods we need to focus on, which ones we need to avoid or minimize, what supplements we need to take for you and we also discuss other factors like sleep, exercise, different lifestyle factors that are gonna help optimize your health. So that's where the help of a coach can come in. And if that's something that you're interested in, uh, there'll be a link below this video as well that you can uh, set up a phone call with me. Uh, we'll have a consultation and we'll discuss whether or not um, coaching is right for you, if you're a right fit for coaching. Um, and if so, we can uh, have a further discussion there and speak about how we can actually get started and work together to help you optimize your health. But um, with this company, uh, this test in particular, we've seen phenomenal results. Um, I'm feeling so much better. My clients have felt so much better with these results. Um, also, uh, there's been some different uh, case studies done. Uh, there was this woman that was about, I think, 37 years old and she was basically having trouble losing weight. She could not lose weight no matter what. She even went on, she removed all these different foods from her diet. She went on this gut health diet. She's still not losing weight. She could not understand why she was doing everything right. She was taking all these different supplements and um, different probiotics and enzymes and this and that and a thousand different things and she was getting nowhere and she was eating chicken and salad and, and really limiting her food and eating very bland food. And it comes to find out she gets Viome done as a test. She finds out her recommendations. The very foods that she was focusing on, salad, grilled chicken, those were actually ones that she should have been avoiding the entire time. Plus a lot of the other supplements were uh, not necessary and she was actually taking the wrong strains of probiotics for her microbiome. And so what happened is once she uh, found her recommendation, they actually had her eating grains, uh, had her upping her carbohydrate intake, had her eating some things that she was staying away from. Uh, so she was not she was not eating certain grains and certain foods because she thought that was going to sabotage her. Meanwhile, that is what she needed. That is what her microbiome needed. And so this lady started to do this, implemented these recommendations, and before you know it, within a couple of weeks, the weight just started constantly, li literally melting off of her. And she could not believe it because she was eating. She was told that she can eat cheese 
and uh, grass-fed beef. So she's over here. She was having cheeseburgers and sweet potato um, baked french fries, um, not fried, of course. And uh, she was eating things like that and was able to lose weight. So imagine how powerful a service like this is, whether you have gut health issues, whether you have some other issues going on, whether you're low on energy, whether you can't focus, you have brain fog, you're having skin issues, all of these different issues are completely related to the health of the gut. And that is always the first place that we have to get started. But once again, if we are guessing instead of testing, it's going to cost you a lot of money, a lot of wasted time and trial and error, You've probably tried lots of supplements, you've tried different tests, you've tried different diets, and you get nowhere. And the reason is, is because you've never had a specific test based off of your unique microbiome. There's no other test out there that can give you these types of custom recommendations to know exactly what vegetable, how much you should eat, how, what you should avoid, what fruit, what grain. Should you be having coffee? Should you be having tea? Should you be eliminating those things? This is literally an all-in-one test. So it literally does not get better than that. So you have two options here. You can take a test like this. Um, I'm gonna leave the link right below this video. Uh, you go there, click that link, and um, you can literally order your test today. It will come in the mail within a couple of days, and literally within a couple of weeks, you will have your customized results, and you'll know exactly what is going on inside your gut. And over time, this is something that constantly um, you get new recommendations as they find out more information about you. You may have some different switches. They may see that over time, you may need a different type of probiotic. So this is an ongoing service. And that is why it is so important. Um, and then that way you know, are you should you be using 10 supplements or should you be using only two like I was recommended, right? So the more we know, the better off you're gonna be, the more money you're gonna save. And then that way you don't have to waste time with um, different practitioners and coaches and going through that whole cycle of trial and error because it wastes a lot of time, it wastes a lot of money. I know myself, when I was sick, I spent well over $10,000 out of pocket. I did not have health insurance. I would go to a, a health coach or a practitioner. I would see them at their office. They would go and they would say, hey, you need to buy this whole thing of supplements. We got to get you these three tests. Before I know it, I'm walking out and you're talking $3,000, $4,000 and it didn't even help me to heal. I still had skin issues. I still had problems. Um, and it took me a lot of work and a lot of time to get to the point where I'm at today where I really have no other health issues left, no other main health symptoms. Um, and I want that for you as well. So you could either click that link below and take this test and do it on your own, or you can click the link below that and you can set up a, a free consultation, a free gut health detective uh, session and we will actually deep dive on exactly what, what is going on in regard to your health issues, what you've tried before, where you currently are, and uh, we'll talk about what you're actually looking to achieve, how you actually wanna feel, we'll determine what's getting in the way, and then we can determine whether a test like this is gonna be very beneficial, and if so, um, then we could also talk about whether you'd be a right fit to work together and help you take something like this and help you implement these recommendations, guide you through the process, work on other areas like your exercise, your sleep, your activity, stress reduction, so that way you get the full holistic package and that way you can really finally heal. You can get your life back. You don't have to worry about hiding in your house anymore. You don't have to worry about food sensitivities. You don't have to worry about going to a party and having to bring your own food and feeling ashamed because you can't eat anything else there. You're gonna know exactly Exactly what to do um so that is pretty much priceless um, to be able to enjoy your life again because once you balance out your microbiome your food sensitivities disappear your energy comes back your skin gets clear you start to feel all around way better about yourself you start to look better and you don't have to worry about all these sensitivities and things and you finally get your life back you can finally enjoy your life with your family with your friends with your loved ones so that's what I have for you in this video. I'm Nick Vidal, a functional health coach, and uh, I actually work virtually. So wherever you are, there is absolutely no limit on where we can work together, and we would actually be on video just like we are now, um, coaching you through this entire process. Also, you can just click that link below. It'll take you directly to the order page to order your test. 
You can get your test ordered right away by yourself, get it sent to your house. You can get the recommendations from Viome and you can get off to the races, start using those recommendations, order the supplements they tell you to order and start to see how you feel. I promise you're going to feel a world of difference. That's what I have for you on this video. If you found this helpful, leave a comment below, hit that share button, share this out, get this message out because this is so important. This type of service is so important. Whether you know a loved one that has a chronic disease and illness, different health complications, different issues, or maybe it's someone that just wants to optimize the way they feel, their energy, their focus, their performance, get rid of the brain fog, have more pep in their step. This is all around, it's always going to come back down to the microbiome, back down to the health of the gut. And once we understand that, once we know exactly what's going on in there, once we know exactly how to balance it, once it gets balanced, that is when you achieve pure bliss. Because when you're balanced, your microbiome's balanced, your entire body functions better, your organs are balanced, and therefore you're not in a state of dis-ease anymore or chronic illness. You are now in a state of health and vitality and vibrance. And that's where you really want to be because it makes life more enjoyable. That's what I have for you on this video. I'm Nick Vidal, and I will see you on the very next video.